Freaky Tales is the latest film from Anna Boden and Ryan Fleck, who have their origins really in Sundance, having a short film play in 2004, and then ultimately receiving a Sundance grant, which led to future projects. Fast forward almost a couple of decades, and they are the directors behind a billion dollar film in Captain Marvel. Freaky Tales stars Pedro Pascal, among many other actors. This really is a large cast as it's a three-part story. All three acts are set in Oakland and the intention here is to shine a light on all of the different aspects that make Oakland the city that it is. The three parts ultimately do coincide, they connect, but for the most part they are separate narratives. This really is a film that feels like a passion project, that feels like a film that is made by directors who already have their billion dollar project, and they gave themselves permission to have fun. And at the end of the day, that's really what this film is. It's fun. The folks sitting beside me in the press and industry screening absolutely loved it. For me, it was, it was fine. I enjoyed it, um, and I would generally recommend it, although it's nowhere near the top of my Sundance list. The first act, the first part of this film essentially explores the dynamic between a group of punks versus a group of skinheads and the obvious conflict that occurs there. The second part explores these two female rappers, Dominique Thorne and Normandy, who are both amazing here as they enter a rap battle against Too Short, uh, who is a real Oakland rapper and who actually provides the voiceover for this film. The third act centers on Pedro Pascal's character who the third act centers on Pedro Pascal's character as he moves toward retirement from his risky and violent profession as is often the risk when you divide a film into three distinct parts, I felt like we really didn't get a ton of character development because we were moving on before we really got to know these characters. The first act I wasn't too engaged with, but then the second act I just wanted to spend hours with these two female rappers. I wanted to see where they were going to go. I wanted to see what was going to happen, but then that was cut short and we moved into our third act. The third act kind of takes on this Scott Pilgrim versus the world kind of vibe, a little bit of a comic anime feel where the audience is asked to suspend our disbelief and accept the surrealism, accept the at times absurd as these narratives connect and ultimately we understand the common thread of Sleepy Floyd, the former uh, Warriors basketball legend who in the end brings all of these characters together. I know it seems a bit crazy, we have skinheads, we have punks, we have uh, these enormous fight scenes, we have rap battles, we have NBA superstars, but it really is kind of an ode to Oakland. It's fun, it's exciting, there's some great fight sequences, there's action, so it's a worthwhile film. Does it strike tremendous emotional chords? Not really. Is it hilarious? Well, it's funny 
at times, but really it's a nice, entertaining film with some great stars, including a cameo from Tom Hanks, which I will admit was pretty good. It looks like Lionsgate has distribution rights to the film, so I would anticipate that there will be a theatrical release of some sort in 2024. So check it out if you're looking for an entertaining couple hours.